Well, good morning, everybody. Jim's been busy out here in the hayfield for about an hour now, mowing with um, Baron and Ken. And it looks like he's got quite a bit done. Okay, so I'm down here mowing and I'm gonna have William take over on the mowing job. And there's a bunch of things I need to tell him, so I thought, well, I'd tell you guys too. There's a bunch of um, things you might be, you might like to know. So this morning I have Baron and Ken, and usually every other time I've mowed, I think I've used um, Baron on the other side, and Ken has almost always been on the left, my left. So he's not really used to walking into, into the swath path, which is the spot next to the standing hay. He is doing very good as far as walking in that today. But the problem having this hay is so, so tall and so lodged and so old, you know, it should have been cut two months ago, but with, because of the rain, we haven't been able to do it. And so um, what's happening is it's very, very, very difficult to see where we're going. It's mowing beautiful. That side there, that side there, that side there, never plugs up at all. This side here is really wet for some reason. And the way it's, the way the grass is laying down, it's plugging up once or twice on this stretch here, but the rest of it's going beautiful. So, um, but the, so the part of the problem I'm having is I can't see where I'm going. The new swath board that I made, I showed you in one of my late, last videos, it's working okay, but not anywhere near as good as my steel one was. And I can improve the wooden one to make it get the hay better off where the swath path is supposed to be. William and a lot of the Amish in this area anyways, don't even use a swath board. So for him, this is kind of normal. But for me, I have a very difficult time seeing where I'm going. And Ken hasn't done it enough. I've had a lot of horses that have done this, done a lot of mowing. And I can't even see where I'm going. And I just trust them to go in the right spot. And they do. But it's not the case with these two here. So Ken is pretty darn good, but not the best. Um, and earlier today, when I first started, Baron was doing his terrible weaving again. And so he would actually hit Ken. You wouldn't think he would. Ken's much bigger, but he'll hit Ken and push him right into the standing hay. And so it, the mower just falls along beside, I mean, behind him, and then yeah. you miss hay. So he's getting better at that. Um, I had them adjusted. Their lines were adjusted kind of close together, and I spread them out quite a ways so it's, he's less apt to hit Ken when he does his weaving. He's not weaving as bad as he was. So let's go around uh, once, and then I'm going to have you take over, and I'm going to be doing something else. Cuffs up. Yep, G, 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 G. Happy. Cuffs up. Oh, so William, and I've talked to you about this quite a lot. You know, I'm very particular about having the evener even so that one horse isn't way ahead of the other horse. And, uh, but today mowing, don't worry about that because what's happening with Baron being a young 
colt like he is, young horse, um, he, he does a lot of weaving, but also he does a lot of going fast and going slow, going fast and going slow. That's just the way colts are. And that's part of the reason why he weaves, because he goes fast and he goes slow. Bear, uh, Ken has a good steady p pace, so don't worry about the evener. If Baron's way ahead, don't worry about it. If he's lagging behind, don't worry about that um, for today in this situation. Um, G, G, cut that. G, 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 G. As you can see, on this, this stretch here in the two ends, I can see the swath path quite a, quite a lot. But that other stretch over there, you just can't see it at all. Um, there's one other thing I want to say. Hmm. It's about the horses, but I can't remember. Anyways. Well, you have something to say about oh, I know. Aaron. It's the mow machine. Okay. A few things about this mower I want to show you, William, because this is just an old junk mower. I can't, it just amazes me how well it mows because it's just an old junk mower. You see the tire treads are all shot, especially on this side here. Um, nothing really works properly on it. I need to do a bunch of work to it. So the foot lever works fine, but this, this whole thing is pretty well shot and worn out. So this will not work anymore. When I put it down, it's supposed to drop into that dog, that, that, that thing right there, you know, it won't hold it. It'll fall. I say that, it's kind of holding it right there. <laughs> but it generally will, will not hold it. So to turn a corner, I will just back up. And if I need to get any more height, I'll just push down. You know, because you don't want the swath board to hit hay and cause trouble. Um, when I leave the field, I actually have a strap in here that I put around this to hold that up. Otherwise, you got to hold your foot down all the time just to get home. All right, back rest. Back, G, 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 G. G, 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 G. Careful. Oh. I right, chopped that. Yeah, 
Oh, bye. I also went, and you know this, but I'm telling it for mostly for other people's sake. As soon as you see it clogging up, stop. Because if you let it drag, this will happen. And of course, you know that. But, um, but sometimes you can actually see it plug it up, and then two seconds later, it frees up. So you don't, you don't have to necessarily stop. And, and you know that, but yeah. a lot of people don't realize that. So, and, and even right now, it actually freed up, I believe, but a quick stop anyways. I'm going to just back up a little bit. I don't have to get off and unplug it, I don't think. And I'm going to try to go again. Bye, Peter Moore. Bye. Bye. Oh, I cast out. That's a jungle in there. Yeah. You always, 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 always shut it off before you do this, right? Yeah. Okay. It's probably fine, I think. Nope. Get that, yeah. I cast out. Oh. Okay. It's all yours. Any questions? So. No, you should be fine. Um, yeah. I haven't stopped basically at all, but you could stop uh, up in that cool corner there to give him a little okay. breather. Okay? Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll just run back down and check on you. I was just wondering, is there anything different on your the mowers you used than this mower? Is it uh, any different? It's the same one I used, yeah. used to use at home. Yep. The old number nines, they're pretty common. Okay. Yeah. Go right at it. You just want this corner, you want to know. As far as mowing for today, yeah. no, we're just going to do this one field. Yeah. And I, I might even have you come up and we'll swap teams even, I'm not sure. Yeah. But just, just yeah. work till I come back down. Okay. If you break down or something, this is the strap that you need. Okay, there's a hook on each, there's a hook on each end of the strap. Yeah. You know that? And so I just put it down through there and down there and push way down and it'll hitch. And then, oh, there's, there's a nut for that. Okay. Put that there. Alright. Go ahead. I'm very particular in my mowing and uh, that was at the end. Don't be often get plugged there, so. Oh, I see why he's not in that spot. I'm very particular in my mowing and uh, but I started off here today and I made a ton of mistakes where I was not cutting at all. So I'm a little bit concerned of how this is going to look. And so if uh, I know I made a bunch of mistakes, so if William makes a bunch of mistakes, I can uh, show him mine. He won't feel quite so mad. Anyways, let's get back to work up the farm. Did you have something you wanted to share with um, people later on in this video? I do. Later. So we're out in the pasture now while William's mowing and we're looking for Lady. We finally found the horses way at the back of the field. It's a hot, hot morning. So they're taking refuge in the woods back here. 
They're probably not going to be very thrilled about following us. There's Bree taking a rest. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Ladies, like, I'm out of here. There you go. Little Bree. It's not so little anymore. Why don't you hand me that? Let's see if I can get Lady. Hi, Bree. Look at your whole new hair on your head. It's much darker. Oh. Oh. Lady wants to stay on vacation. Hi, Earl. You're so pretty. Okay. Whoops. Let's head him home. I will. When I she gets off of my the end of my lead rope. Come on, Bree. Wait for me. <laughs> it's a nice little hideout back here. Oops, I gotta pick up my rope. Got an extra long lead rope. And Bree keeps stepping on it. Sloppy horsemanship. Change in lineup. Come on, Bray. Come on, let's go. Well, it's later in the morning, and Jim is out with the Belgian team. Now that we got Lady in, and he is getting this field next to the house right. Can I hitch a ride? Yes, sir. Okay, so today we have brought Lady out of the pasture and put her back with her old teammate Bill and uh, raking hay. This hay here, this hay was actually cut on Saturday. This is Monday, and no, I took that back. This was cut on Friday. So on Friday, I was wanting to put some hay down, but I knew I was going to be going to a horse pull on Saturday, and I don't like to work the horses the day before a horse pull. So I decided to do something I don't very often do, and that is to hire somebody to come in here with a tractor and mow my a little bit of hay. So that's what I did, and uh, I don't like to do that because it costs too much money. Um, I'm too cheap, I guess. But sometimes it's really nice to be able to do that to get get the hay down when you need to get it down if something else is going on. So now because of that, we'll probably have this nice hay to, to bale this afternoon. So today, we, like I said, we brought Lady in from the pasture with Bree and the colts. And the colts are over next to the barn. And Bree is actually with them outside. So um, she's not stuck in her box style that she has. She's out with the, her uncles, I guess you could say. 
Our and uncles are babysitting. Absolutely. So that's good. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about is Baron. So, as most of you guys know, Baron is my four-year-old Suffolk Punch Stallion. We have bred a few mares with him. Lady had one colt from him this year, and we think that she's probably bred back this year. We'd never get it checked, um, but we think she is, although she did show some signs of, of heat a couple times this summer, but would not stay in for, for Baron. So we're not even positive. I don't really care to tell you the truth if she bred or not. There's a lot of reasons why I don't want her bred. I would love to be a polar worker next summer. I missed having her this summer. And so, um, but it'd be great to have a full, another full lab also. So with Baron, what we have decided to do is castrate him. Now, the, the reason for that is, is many things. Um, I used to have a pair of steins, I've told you guys before, and they were great. Um, I would go everywhere with them and but wouldn't even know they were stallions. But it was still always that stress, stress of having a stallion in public. Here we go. And uh, um, so I just don't want to have to deal with that with Baron. I, I go out to horse pulls sometimes. I, I wouldn't mind doing some even parades or whatever. Um, out more out in public, but I just don't want to have the stress of taking a stallion along with me He is just like my stallions of years ago very very good. He would do perfectly fine But I guess I'm just getting old enough. That I just don't want to deal with it um, I'm more interested in working horses than I am raising and breeding horses. I do not have the facilities here to take on outside mares very well. And uh, so I, I, I just don't want to, I really don't want to do it. Um, but that being said, if I castrate them, we'll, won't have a chance of ever getting lady bred back again. Or if somebody really wants to get bred, uh, their mare bred with, with Baron, it's not possible. So this is what I'm going to do. I have talked with a, a veterinarian service in Southern New York, and they have the facilities to um, take Baron to their place and actually get semen from him and be able to freeze it up in a straw and to be able to use it. And they, they say it's actually good for 20 years. Um, I don't know much about that whole, you know, all that, um, but that's what we've decided to do. We're going to hopefully in the next couple weeks take Baron down there and we'll leave him right there for however long he needs to be left there and they will do all that they need to do to make this happen. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to um, doing that. I'm looking forward to getting him castrated and I'm looking forward to a lot of things. Um, but by having some semen I could always continue breeding as, as I wanted to. Um, I guess what I was kind of hoping to even put out there even today is some feelers as to whether there's some horse owners, mare owners, that have suffix or wouldn't you have to be suffix, but that would like to buy some of Baron's semen, uh, you know, next year or the years to come, so that I have an idea of how much I should um, get. It's kind of a costly, um, thing to do but I'm willing to spend the money invest in that so that we have that for future years so that's what's going on with Baron in our, our situation there if you guys know of anybody that really would like to get their mayor's bed bread by Baron um, please let me know soon and it doesn't have to be 100%, just the fact, just if you think you might be interested, I can't even tell you a price. I'm sure it's going to be reasonable or com as, a, as opposed to a lot of semen to buy, but still, um, I don't know, so I can't even tell you, and it'd be for, you know, for next year. But it'd be nice to get an idea 
as to people that might be interested in semen from Baron so that I could make sure I that we get enough of it. So, Did I miss anything? No, I was just going to say, we have an email address, workinghorseswithjim at yahoo.com. It's on our website, and it's on the um, about on our, if you just go to the our channel, you can find that info out, but also you could um, Do you have message us on Facebook if you wanted to. So my plan is even if I don't get anybody that's interested, I'm still gonna do it because gee, gee, I am so pleased with Baron and how well he did that I want to be able to get Lady Bread back again if she, I mean, if she's not bread, I won't get a bread next year probably. And if she is bread, I still would possibly want to get a bread back again next year. So, I guess that's all we need to show you and talk to you about today. Um, you guys have a great day, and uh, we'll see you next time. If you enjoy our channel and you're not subscribed, please consider hitting the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Have a great day.